Okay, uh, next step in two point perspective is uh, our first project that we do in class. And this is where <clears throat> it's a two point perspective, and the requirements are <clears throat> uh, five forms stacked up. five cutouts and five add-ons. And I'll explain what those are. <clears throat> First, let's do the five forms. And very quickly, what we'll do is I'll put this uh, in time-lapse. You can see this happen uh, without watching it in real time. <clears throat> Okay, so there's five forms, and you notice that as I drew these, especially up here, I did them in a different order. Normally we start with this lead line, but where these are connected, it's easier for me to draw the shape that's next to this other. So this, this side of this block is resting on top of this one, and so having it start where it's connected uh, helps me to get the blocks placed where I'd, where I'd like. <clears throat> also, you see in here, the lines get very close to the horizon line, which means they, they pretty well line up. Uh, they're close to, just trust the rules that horizontal lines always go to your vanishing points and vertical lines always are parallel with the edge of the, the paper. Now that's not to include triangles or curves, archways, things like that. We'll talk about that in a, in a uh, later video. But for now, this is simply uh, this assignment, having five forms stacked up. Uh, so we've got that all checked off. <clears throat> five cutouts. A cutout is simply now removing a piece of one of these blocks. And kids like to uh, have uh, representational uh, ideas and so if this was a bizarre you know modern looking house then we would need a place to park a car and so we like to cut out a garage door <clears throat> and just by putting the shape in and understanding you know the parts of the door that we would see uh, right here, but now we need to be able to see the inside of this block and so going from here to there now magically there's a place for a car to go in <clears throat> Now I'm not going to spell out all five cutouts because I want to not limit the creativity of those that are uh, viewing this but as another example You could say maybe I need a window and let's put a window in here. Now these things don't have to be representational, meaning that they don't need to be recognizable. It can simply be geometric shapes that make sense following the, the rules of perspective. So simply a shape, and then we need to show that there is a thickness to this wall <coughs> where this window lives. And it's a very wide, windowsill and then the secret to making glass look like glass is simply putting two little lines and ta-da there 
there's a glass window we can put you know like the where the glass is meeting the wall so that you can see like the interior it might be kind of cool I don't know anyway that is uh, something that would qualify as a cutout <clears throat> an add-on would simply be making a different form that is growing out of another that might help to uh, understand how to create these forms um, in a different order similar to how I did these let's say I wanted to create a block of some sort coming out of this one right here uh, we'll call it like an air conditioner or something now what I'm doing here is <clears throat> just making a line where I want the edge it's, it's actually like the back end of this block where it's going to come from and these are the side always going towards the vanishing point it's a strange looking air conditioner it's all right and then closing this in And then I can clean up these edges but that's an add-on <clears throat> um, there are other decorations can be uh, added to this you know where you'd have a driveway could be fun um, some of my students really enjoy when we get pretty creative and you can see um, you can have a cutout over here in the front yard <laughs> as it were and let's put a swimming pool in here the further you get away from the vanishing points it can become a little skewed and the idea is to simply trust the rules that horizontal lines go to the vanishing points and vertical lines are parallel with the edge of the paper um, <clears throat> and it'll work out just fine you can be very creative with this. Um, some other examples that we happen to draw in class. Uh, <clears throat> here's one, you know, the old swimming pool. Somebody wanted a slide, so we figured out how to do that. Starts out with a simple box that's in perspective, and then just simply connecting the corners. Uh, diving boards, you know, cutouts, shapes. The, the, the possibilities are endless. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, two point perspective. It's a fun project. It helps kids get uh, be creative um, and uh, gives uh, simple parameters. Uh, fantastic little project. <clears throat>